Do you know how to check your MacBook's battery life, whether it needs servicing or not? Well, I'm Ronnie Wong, and I want to show you what the pros know. All right, now, MacBook Pros are relatively good with their battery life, but sometimes you will see strange working with your battery, and that's what I started noticing, is one day I was using my particular MacBook without it being plugged in, and I thought, this thing is charged to 100%, but when I looked down, it actually drained relatively quickly. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Right before I walked into the studio, which is about 15 minutes ago, this was charged to 100%. Now, notice it's at 85%. That's a relatively quick battery drain. It's about a percent a minute. Now, I clicked on it, and this is what I also ended up seeing, which is this warning right here that says, service battery, and it gives us that little warning symbol that we see. You might go, all right, so what do I do? Well, all you have to do is click on that link, and to do so, it brings up, of course, well, this nice little thing that tells you, check the condition of your Mac's uh, computer battery. Now, it tells you, you can check it on the portable, whether it's functioning approximately, how much it can hold. It tells you everything, right? It actually goes down here and says, hey, you may see some of the following conditions, normal, replace soon, replace now. Well, mine is this last one. It says the battery isn't functioning normally, and it tells you, you know, all the other things that you think about. Now, I thought, I was like, oh, this is great. I know exactly what happens. But it started actually making me think about what it says up here at the top. Check the condition of your MacBook's uh, computer battery. Now, I just realized something. It didn't really tell me how to check the actual battery condition itself. So that's what I want to show you right here. So how in the world do you go about checking this? Well, sometimes if you read on the internet, it actually tell you this may not be a real issue with your battery. So one of the things that it actually gives you a diagnostic in being able to do is to reset your uh, MacBook's uh, SMC value. And that is shift control option and the power button. And once you have that, then that actually resets everything. You boot back up and you try and test it again, see if everything is draining. I did exactly that and I still got about the same results. So I know something else is going on here. Now, from that point, what do I do now that I know that those are kind of the standard procedures to being able to do this? So this is where you have to go searching and exploring a little bit more to be able to do this. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a spotlight search, and we are going to look into system information is where we are going to go. Now, inside of system information, I'm going to zoom in so that we can see it a little bit better. We're going down to where it says power. And when we actually see the idea of power here, what I'm looking for is gonna be health information. And you actually see right here where I highlight it and I'm coming in and it tells me here's the condition and there's a cycle count that's listed right here. Now this particular cycle count is telling you the life of the battery or how many cycles has actually been fully recharged, something like that that goes on. Now the problem is you don't know what the scale is. So this is where you have to go a little bit more searching. So now that I have this 262, tells me that the condition is actually going to be servicing the battery. I want to go to right here, okay? Now there is a website up here that tells you to determine the battery cycle count and what that means for your life of your battery in your particular MacBook. Now for us, it also means I have to find my particular edition and mine's a MacBook Pro. And if I take a look, I need to find the actual year and also the number of Thunderbolt port, uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports that's on. And this is mine, which is a 13 inch 2017 two Thunderbolt 3 ports. And it tells me that the overall capacity of this in terms of cycles is 1000. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but overall though, no matter what I tried to do in terms of resetting the SMC, that didn't work. I now know about, let's say a quarter of my battery life is draining at this point. Now at times, it just tells you, you can continue to use your MacBook if you want to, but it recommends that you go ahead and you bring this in for servicing. Now, when I say that, it could be that your MacBook is still under service warranty, but it may not be. So what do I do if I actually know that it has to be brought in? Well, there is another site that you can also go to on Mac support side as well. And here it is, it actually tells me I selected it. I found it a 13 inch MacBook Pro battery replacement. And when I do, what you have to do, of course, is go down and you'll see where it actually tells you the non-touch bar, which is what mine is. And it gives me the eligibility. And this is where you will actually be able to type in your serial number 
and it will tell you whether or not you're actually in eligible here for the replacement that it actually needs to, especially if it's free of charge. That is what we all hope for, but it may not be. If not, it means you'll have to pay a fee for the servicing of that MacBook as well, okay? So when you actually do all that, then you know what those steps are gonna be. Now, before you do that, the last recommendation here, right, that I can give you is that if you're really not sure, okay, overall and everything that you have to do, the other thing for you to do is go ahead and power down your MacBook, okay? Then, as it boots up, you wanna hold the D button down, D as in dog, and let that boot up, and that will boot into the Apple hardware diagnostic mode, and let me see if I can show you what that ends up looking like at the end. So the results of that at the very end, if you have a battery condition that absolutely is going to need to be replaced, and you're probably seeing, and it looks a little bit blurry, that's because I took a picture of this with my phone, is what I did here. The battery will need to be replaced soon. It's functioning normally, but holds less charge than it did when it was new, and it gives me the reference code. And that it will actually be what the service uh, dealer will actually tell you that it actually needs here is they'll run this. If you don't have a code, it more than likely means one of those other conditions that's really a software condition is what is happening. But by being able to actually learn how to check where you can find out information on the life of your battery, which is what we showed you here in terms of the information uh, area, the system information, we also showed you where you can compare that against the actual charts that you have available right out there on the web showed you whether or not your MacBook may still be eligible for a replacement that may be for free. If not, you actually have that. And also this hardware uh, diagnostic that you can run. All that will actually give you a verification of whether or not your MacBook really does need that servicing that it needs to. And mine definitely does. And that means I need to visit that authorized service dealer as well. And I'll be doing that very soon. Check out our playlist to see more What the Pros Know videos and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Ronnie Wong, and now you know what the pros know.